Hello and welcome to Crime and Justice, where we are looking at the aftermath of the riots in Leeds yesterday. I don't have a small walk, no I don't take shit. I got no love for the fakeness If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this I'll always show up and make a statement I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit I got no love for the fakeness If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this I'll always show up and make a statement Everything I do so instinctive and so passionate Every word I move so descriptive like an adjective I gotta bend better against people who patent it Being negative when you should be getting after it I got facts over facts over tracks, this and that, spitting slow, spitting fast, I could roast, I could gas, think I'm okay at last, but I don't know if that can erase all the past and the pettiness over the Alright, those are just some, a few of the clips from last night and this morning. The police have issued their statements, the councillors have issued their statements, And arrests were made last night and they said there are more to come. Because they are that brazen to go and do what they do without covering their faces nowadays. They don't care. They really don't care. And there's a lot of families around there and they're not happy about what happened last night. They really are. Right? Even the family who had their children took off them for whatever reason, we don't know. I am not going to speculate, right? Um, so, even the family who had their children removed from their home last night were, were calling for calm, you know what I mean, and to be honest with you, I don't know why they would start a riot over that, if they say, say they have been causing a lot of harm to their children, I don't know, I don't, I haven't heard nothing about it, I haven't seen nothing about it, I've only heard and read what the police are putting out today, right, but say there was harm in their children, and something happened to one of their children and one of them died. Would the community be in uproar then that uh, social services and the police didn't step in and do something then? So the police doing their job, they're coming out to help social services and they're getting pouted to the point where they've got to get the council workers out of there the children out of there, and then themselves out of there, without getting harmed. Right? So they don't have an easy job, and they are understaffed. I put in a comment today, uh, I was watching a little video from last night, where the police had their right shields, and they had, like, gaps between them. And... I said, I remember a time when they would be shoulder to shoulder, two deep, two lines deep with their right shields. You know what I mean? That's how bad they have cut the police funding back. Right? So the police were called, pulled out of the area so that they can, instead of Going in hard handed and whatever, and dragging people out and arresting, it would only in flare it up even more. Right? It really would. But I don't believe in this. Uh, I don't know. What, how can I say? Uh, this belief where we can't do, the police can't do what they want to do. Like if it's people comparing with football teams. If that had been a football team kicking off, for whatever reason, their fans kicking off, the police would have gone in there and literally dragged whoever out. 
but they didn't do this last night. And it's like, I just get this feeling like, because it was a multicultural community, it's like, we don't want to upset them even more by going in heavy-handed. So, they sat back on the sides, right, what they had, the drones up, they was watching what was going on, and they let the numbers subside. Once the numbers started to subside, they went in with the fire brigade and they put the fires out. But until the numbers subsided and the threat of any harm towards the fire brigade or the police had been taken away, they couldn't, they couldn't go in. They wasn't properly manned. They didn't have the proper, all the staff, all the, they, they was outnumbered. Right? That should never happen. A police force should never be outnumbered. Anyway, we're going to listen to this. This is Five News. I don't watch the news. I don't listen to the news very often. But for anything like this, I have to. So, here it goes. Hang on. Underway in Leeds after violent scenes erupted there last night. A police car was overturned and a double-decker bus was set on fire. West Yorkshire Police say several people have been arrested and further arrests are expected over the next few days. Well, Bradley Harris spent the day there and sent us this report. Residents waking up to a horror scene in Leeds this morning after a night which saw police officers attacked and fires lighting the streets. At the peak of it. After a night which saw police officers attacked and fires lighting the streets. At the peak of it, there was probably about 1,500 to 2,000 people on the scene. Um, so it was quite chaotic. It was, really, it was absolutely crazy out here. We acted as human shields for the police because they were there without riot gear, without helmets, without shields, uh, being pelted out with bricks and bottles. Yo, what are you doing? If you walk through the Hare Hills district in Leeds last night, this is what you would see. Neighbourhoods spiralling out of control, public transport set alight, and a police car toppled over. A night of violence took over this community after local authority care workers removed children from an address in the area. West Yorkshire Police said their officers withdrew when it was clear that they were the sole target, but restored order once crowd numbers dropped. Well, this is as close as we can get because clearly a police cordon is still surrounding what was a double-decker bus. It's completely in ruin. There's shards of glass scattered all over the road. There's still even smoke at the back of the bus. And you can imagine, can't you, how hot this would have been at the time last night, the flames just spilling out. In fact, it was so hot that this shop, the signs in front of it, have completely melted. The fire was so terrible that I was so terrified, I was scared. I thought that the shop is going to burn down. Are you worried that this may happen again tonight? That is what I don't know, except the authority have to take a strict measure to make sure they put things in place. I don't know if it will happen again or if it will not happen again, because since 2012 I've been here, I've never experienced such a thing. Police say several arrests have been made so far, with more being made in the coming days. And patrols have been stepped up too in what was usually a normal part of the city. But what happened here last night has certainly changed those opinions. Well, Bradley joins us now from Leeds District Police Headquarters. Hi there, Bradley. There have been some updates up there in the last few hours. That's right, Julian. Yeah, West Yorkshire Police have been doing the rounds and speaking to members of public uh, about what they may have witnessed. They've also been going through CCTV and social media posts to try and identify who could be responsible. Now, some local roads are still blocked off because of things like police cordons. And that double-decker bus that you just saw in my report, which was up in flames last night, well, that wreckage has since been cleared in the last few hours. Now, police patrols have been ramped up, particularly tonight, for lots of members of the public in the area who, quite frankly, are unsure about what tonight may bring.
Right. So you got all this lot going on. And you got residents who don't know what's gonna happen. So just don't feel safe. You know what I mean? It just does not make sense why they kicked off. As what's how I look at it is could something have been happening on the rung up? Right? Has there been some niggling little incidents maybe that people haven't been happy about and nothing's been done about? And then that was just like with that family with their children being took away. It's like, sod this, we've had enough of this now. You know what I mean? And that's what sets it all off. It's hard to say, so, but let's hope we have a quiet night tonight and everything goes up nice and calmly. Please leave a comment, please like this video, please share it, and if you like what you hear and see, please subscribe to stay updated, it costs you nothing, not a penny, but until then. Have a good night.